Vaping may be linked to five lung disease cases in Alabama. Health department officials are investigating and will release the findings once the investigation is complete. In the meantime, the FDA is cracking down on one of the most popular vaping products on the market. The agency slapping Juul with a warning letter today. News 5's Brianna Hollis has been following teen vaping trends in Baldwin County for months. What does that letter say, Brianna? Well, Cherish, the FDA claims Juul actually went so far as to illegally market its products. The letter goes on to say a Juul rep actually told students the products were, quote, totally safe. Now, we caught up with the Fairhill Police Department about this. They're one of just several agencies trying to send the opposite message. We've taken it on because it's become such a problem with our kids. The teen vaping epidemic is persisting. Schools across Alabama are trying to curb it. In Fairhope, prevention efforts come in the form of citations being handed out at school. And one school in North Alabama went so far as to remove some of the stalled doors in the boys' bathroom. Now, Jewel, creator of the most popular e-cig devices for teens, is getting put on blast by the FDA. I think we started moving in a really good direction. There for a while I was really concerned, but now that we're starting to see some of this movement, I'm feeling a lot better about it. In a warning letter issued today, the FDA claims Jewel perpetuates the youth vaping epidemic by marketing the products as, quote, totally safe, and that the devices are being wrongfully sold as, quote, modified risk tobacco products. I'm terribly elated to see the FDA's letter to Jewel. That was Representative Barbara Drummond of Mobile. She co-authored a bill that passed earlier this year. It cracked down on vape sales and marketing tactics. But after reading the letter, she wants to do something more. One way we can strengthen that law is that we've got to come up with an education component. The second way that we can strengthen that law is that we have got to ban more flavors as it relates to the marketing of those products to our young people. Now, all Juul products like this one right here do have a warning label on them in a statement. The company says they've reviewed the letters and they will fully cooperate. They have 15 business days to get back to the FDA. Reporting live in Fairhope, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.